एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री द फिगर शोज ए स्प्रिंग फिक्स एट द बॉटम ऑफ एन इंक्लाइन ऑफ इंक्लेनेशन थर्टी सेवन डिग्री अ स्मॉल ब्लॉक ऑफ मास टू के जी स्टार्ट स्लिपिंग डाउन द इंक्लाइन फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट एट मीटर अवे फ्रॉम द स्प्रिंग द ब्लॉक कंप्रेस द स्प्रिंग बाई ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर स्टॉप मोमेंटरली एंड दे रिबाउंड थ्रू अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन मीटर ऑफ द इंक्लाइन फाइंड ए द फ्रिक्शन को इफिशियंट बिटवीन द प्लेन एंड द ब्लॉक एंड बी द स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ द स्प्रिंग Let us first look at this animation to get the proper feel of the situation. The block is initially at rest. It moves down by 4.8 meter, then compresses the spring by 2 meters. This means the total distance it moves down the incline is 5 meters. Then it bounces back by 1 meter, and the block is finally at rest. This means the net energy gained by the block is zero. Therefore, the total work done by friction must cancel out the work done by gravity in bringing the block downwards. Which implies mg d1 sin theta is equal to mu mg d2 cos theta, where d1 is the net displacement of the block down the incline, which we can see is 4 meters. D2 is the total distance block moves on the surface, that is 6 meters. Putting these values, we get 4 sin theta is equal to mu into 6 cos theta, which implies mu is equal to 2 by 3 tan theta. Tan theta for 37 degrees is 3 by 4, thus mu is equal to 0.5. This is our answer for the first part. Let us consider the motion of the block from the time it starts moving to the time it compresses the spring to the maximum compression. Initially the block is at rest. Gravity does some work in pulling the block down the incline while the friction dissipates some of this energy. Finally when the compression in the spring is maximum the block comes to rest again. So the block does not have any kinetic energy. All the energy it had must be transferred to the spring. This means work done by gravity minus the energy dissipated by friction must be equal to the energy stored in the spring. Which implies mg d sin theta minus mu mg d cos theta is equal to half k x square. As we can see in the diagram, d sin theta is three meters and d cos theta is four meters. Also, as per the question, maximum compression in the spring is twenty centimeters, that is zero point two meter. Putting these values, we get twenty into three minus point five into twenty into four is equal to five into k into zero point zero four, which implies zero point zero two k is equal to twenty, that is k is equal to thousand newton per meter. This is our answer. To request solution to any question from H C Verma, post the chapter number and question number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.